This is Michael Fisher for SavingAndInvesting.com and I want to follow on from the first video on securitization and talk a little bit about CDOs or collateralized debt obligations and in particular why that process of creating these CDOs allowed the market for mortgages to grow substantially and why um, problems resulted subsequently um, and introduce uh, some of these things which have uh, something obviously to do with the subprime crisis and the amount of leverage that ultimately ended up being created within the residential mortgage market. When mortgages, for example, are securitized um, and a, a special purpose entity buys these mortgages and issues securities on the back of them, clearly uh, that opens the market for uh, new investors to, that can only invest in securities to get access to these now more liquid mortgage instruments. And that was much of what we discussed in the first video on securitization. But what happened subsequently was that certain tranches of these um, securitized mortgages, and often, for, for example, the triple B tranche, which is the last investment grade tranche, could be restructured and retranched into tranches where a first tranche receives the cash flows first, and then uh, a second tranche receives uh, cash flows subsequently and a third tranche all the way down to a lowest tranche which would receive the cash flows later on. So in effectively a triple B security, the cash flows that that throws off are uh, retranched to create securities which, um, which have a different order of priority in terms of when they get their cash flows. And these are what collateralized debt obligations are. And what happened is that from these triple B tranches, a first, the first tranche, which, which would receive its cash flows first, was then rated um, independently as well by rating agencies as a triple A or super senior tranche. And then it went down to double A, single A, triple B, and so forth, all the way down to, to a, a very lowly ranked tranche. Now, there are investors that can also, so that this had a number of effects. Firstly, there are a number of investors who would not have bought the triple B tranche in the first place um, when it was still just a securitized basket of mortgages. But now that there are multiple different tranches, it opens the market up further for investors, for example, who only buy triple A tranches or double A tranches or single A tranches, in particular, triple A tranches. What that means then is that what was effectively a triple B basket of mortgages ends up having a triple A element to it when it's retranched, i.e. the most senior element that gets the cash flows first, and that is the most secure of the cash flows that come from the triple B uh, pool. What then happens though, unfortunately, and so this, uh, this, is, this, this is what ha allowed the market to grow substantially and to be able to tap into a whole bunch of new investors, a whole new group of investors. What then happens subsequently is, of course, if, the, if, the, uh, if all of the cash flows or a large part of the cash flows on the triple B tranche fail and don't take place because it was a triple B rated pool of mortgages, then obviously the triple A tr cash uh, tranche, which was going to get the cash flows first, doesn't get a cash flow either, um, particularly in a, in a declining economic environment. And that is why there were such, uh, in part, why there were such large losses on portfolios of CDOs and, and collateralized debt obligations that related to mortgages, and why also the market for uh, issuing these mortgages, if there's more capital that can buy the AAA, the AA, the single A, and so forth, then more and more mortgages can be securitized and repackaged, and more and more mortgages can be issued, and uh, therefore allowing leverage uh, within the financial system to increase greatly. And that is what uh, the, the, the subject of CDOs is about, collateralized debt obligations that in effect um, greatly increased the market for purchasers of these providers of capital for these mortgages, with allowing more mortgages to be made, more money to be lent, more leverage to be in the system, and also then subsequently led to losses on highly rated CDOs, which were ultimately based on pools that had lower ratings such as triple B, um, and which in effect, when there was no, even not even a senior first payment, then the triple A tranche of the triple B uh, would not receive a payment either. And that is the subject of CDOs and the second part of the securitization uh, element that I'd like to discuss.